Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemmy Development and welcome to our weekly tutorials. And this week I'll be showing you how to use the UI segment controller in your projects. Now in the simulator here, I have the example of what we will be creating today. We have our UI segment control here and it has five buttons and every time you press one, the label displays a different text. So if you click button one, it simply says button one was selected and so does two, three, four, and five. Now this is just a simple action to show you how to simply use the segment control. Now already I have my project set up. It's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it segment controller for the purpose of this tutorial. Now the first thing we want to do is add our IB outlet and our actions for our segments and our label. So if you go to our view controller.h, I'll zoom in for you now. And just after the UI view controller, press space, bracket, and then enter. And then start by typing IB outlet, UI label, space, asterisk, and I simply name the label label. So it's really easy to understand when we come to the coding. And now we need to do an outlet for our UI segment control. And I simply name it segment controller. So again, really easy to understand. And then just after the last curly bracket here, we need to add a IB action for our segment controller. So we do dash bracket IB action. And we'll name it segment button. So again, really easy to understand. Make sure you have the ID sender at the end and then end it with a semicolon. We can save that and zoom out now. Now the next thing I want to do before we go into the coding, we're going to go into the interface first, just so I can show you how to work the UI segment controller. So if we just insert our segment controller, I'll make it big enough. And in the options here where we got the style, we can change it to a bordered one. Gives it a black line around it, a bar, and we can change it to a bezel. So again, nice little individual styles there you can change and create your own little unique one, but I'm gonna use the bar one. And when we have segments here, I'm gonna change it so we have five all together. And then, as you notice now, it's added five bars. And if you look here, where it says segment zero first, if we click on that, and then change the title here, so if we call it button one, just like in the iPhone simulator, the little example I showed you, so you hit enter, and now the first bar has changed to button one. Now if we click back onto our segment controller here, and go to segment one, and then change this to button two, press enter. Now do this to all of them, so we gradually end up with all of them saying button and the number. Put a space there. And button three, finally button four, and the very last button five. So now once you've got all those in place there, our individual buttons in the segments have their own names. We click onto Files Owner, then go to our Outlet and link up our segment controller, and then link up our action for our segment button. Make sure you select Value Changed, as we're not touching it down or anything like that. It's a think it as one big button, and you're just simply changing the value of the individual buttons. So then, once we have done that. We simply drag in our label and I'll simply center the text so it looks quite nice when we come to iPhone Simulator. I'm just going to delete the word label and just like in the iPhone Simulator, button one was selected. Now, as the as default, button one is already selected, we're going to want the label to already display button one was selected. 
Now you can, can change the default button that is selected just by selecting the button you want. So if we go to button five here, as it's already selected, and then just click here, selected, and now you'll notice that the color of button five in the background is now darker to the other ones as that has been selected. Well, I'm just going to go back to button one, and make sure that is selected. So once you've done that, make sure our label is linked up. And we can save that and go straight to the coding now. Just after the implementation, I enter a few times, so we've got a fair bit of room to start writing out. And then what we need to do is type out our action button. So we do dash bracket ID action, and we named it segment button. And make sure it has the ID sender on it. Do space, go to bracket and press enter. Press enter a little bit more so we can see what we're doing again. And now we need to type an if statement. So in the condition here, we do the name of our outlet, which is segment controller dot selected segment index space equals equals, and then the number of the button in our segment controller. Now, as the first button is cast as zero, and the second button is cast as one, all the way up to the fourth one, which is cast, no, the fifth one, sorry, which is cast as the fourth button. So it's a little bit confusing, but I'll simply show you here now. So if the first button is selected, which is the number zero, simply the label dot text space equal space the at symbol quotation mark quotation mark. So if the label, so if the, basically if the button first button is selected, the label will display this text. Button one was selected. And after the quotation mark, I never semicolon. And now we need to copy this five times. Oh, so we have five all together. And then what we simply need to do now is change the number of our buttons. So we do the second one to one, the third one to two, the fourth one to three and the fifth one to four, and then we need to change what text it will be displaying. So we do two, three, four, and then five. So okay, then. so basically what we have made it do now is for when the certain segment in the segment control is selected, so take it the second one for instance, so when we hit that button, we've hit the second button, which is classed as number one, and the label will display that text. And it worked for all of them. So if we just zoom out now, and we can save that and go straight to build and run. Okay then, so now once it's loaded up on the simulator, we can see if button one is selected as that is what we chose for the button to be selected. And our label is simply displaying button one was selected as we chose that in our interface builder as button one was selected, so we wanted the label to be displayed there anyway. So as soon as we hit button two, the label will change to button two was selected, and so will button three, four, five, and again one, go back to button one. So if you want to change the segments to do different actions like playing sounds, switching views, or anything like that. You just simply change what action it performs where we have the line of our label. So you just change the action there, and the segment control will do different actions depending on what you set it to. So that's simply how you create and use UI segment controls. So I hope this tutorial helps in any of your apps or projects at the moment. Make sure you like and favorite this video as it really does help us and gives us a wider audience. If you want to suggest any tutorials yourself, or if you want to leave us any feedback on how we can improve our tutorials, just simply leave us a comment or send us a message. But if you haven't, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you all next week in our next tutorial. Hey guys, Aaron here. Please support us by liking us on Facebook, following us on Twitter, and checking out all our apps by simply searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. 
And make sure you visit our website where we have a full list and full source code for all our tutorials. And visit our blog, forums and all the other great features we have to offer on our website.